What was once a $4.8 billion relief in provincial debt is now worth only $3.2 billion. In doing so, however, the province now retains ownership over its transmission lines and distribution systems, both of which account for more than 60% of all NB Power employees. Hydro-Quebec will take over the province's most valuable asset in the Point Le Pro nuclear generating station. Quebec will also take ownership over the hydro dams, as well as two diesel plants in the province. For the customers, they'll see their five-year rate freeze remain unchanged, but after that, prices will be determined by the New Brunswick Consumer Index. The province will keep control of the Colson Cove and Baldoon generating stations, and industrial ratepayers will only see 23% savings instead of the 30% which was set out in the original deal. Small businesses will see about a 15% savings in their power rates. The political science department at St. Thomas University hosted an open forum on Tuesday evening with three of the region's top energy experts. William Marshall is the former system operator in New Brunswick and he supports the sale. But fundamentally, the deal is a rate promise to New Brunswickers to give you electricity at a reasonable price at a lower cost than what it would be if we continued on the same track we're on with NB Power, to do it in an environmentally acceptable, clean way with no risk, and do it in a financially manageable way that the province can deal with. Yves Gagnon is a professor at the University of De Moncton and is the KC Irving Chair in Sustainable Development. He opposes the deal for New Brunswick, in particular, the clauses in the deal which negate Hydro-Quebec from paying income tax on the transaction. Oh, in New Brunswick, if you're a hairdresser, you'll pay income tax. If you own a corner store, you'll pay income tax. If you're an underpaid, overworked professor, university professor, <laughs> you'll pay income tax. So why shouldn't this independent corporation doing business here in New Brunswick, making money, uh, making a return on investment the first year that they will uh, purchase NB Power through MOU1, why should they not pay income tax also like everyone else? Does? Others worry that the retention of the transmission lines sound more appealing than they really are. Retention of, of transmission lines is very important, I realize that, but that in the long run is not going to be a great asset because uh, Quebec can clog those transmission lines. I mean, no one else is going to be able to buy into those. They already own a large percentage of, of the ability to transmit power through those lines. So to me, it, it's, not, it's not going to be a great deal of difference, really. Sean Graham received the nod of approval from Newfoundland's Danny Williams and Daryl Dexter of Nova Scotia. Initially, concerns were raised over who was in charge of the transmission lines and the bidding processes surrounding it. But after seeing the second part of the deal, both premiers said that their concerns were met. Sean Graham expects the deal to be finalized by March 31st. For Stu Journalism, I'm Jason Cassidy.